Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to learn how you can now use a QR code scanner with Darkroom Core to help organize your photos, catalogs, and help retrieve images if you're using a uh, server client setup. So let's go ahead and jump right in and see how to add a QR code scanner to Darkroom Core 2024. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is connect your USB QR code scanner. I have mine right here. And it's a good idea to open up Notepad and just scan a QR code just to make sure that it's working. It should scan the code and type in what's in the code, just like as if it was a keyboard. You can see that it scanned that code right there. So that's working. We can go ahead and close that. And now what we're going to do is in Darkroom Core, we're going to open it up and go to our setup tab and then under application options and general settings you'll see a brand new option to use a QR code uh, keyboard scanner so what we're going to do is click choose it'll give us a little QR code on the screen that we're then going to scan with the scanner you can see now that that device is uh, connected and identified so that is the setup for the scanner darkroom can now see it whenever you scan a code darkroom will use um, the commands that are inside the code or whatever you have preset what we're going to do is switch over to the photo library just see kind of what we have set up i have a new catalog created and when we scan a new code, it's going to create a sub catalog or a sub event under that catalog. And I actually have it <clears throat> using create sub event from a URL and a QR code. And there are a few different options there. But essentially what it's going to do is look at this um, URL that has my event gallery URL slash and then a unique identifier. It's a random unique identifier. Um, and it's going to create a sub catalog based on that. Uh, you can also have it set to just have a um, create a code or create a sub catalog from a let's say a name built in. And that option would be um, create a new sub event named <clears throat> for the data. So what we're going to do is select URL and We'll get a little bit more in depth in a future video on some of these other options. So inside my photo library or inside my photo workshop, I'm going to go ahead and scan this code. And you can see that it's created a new sub catalog here. So now I can go ahead and let's say capture a couple images. I'm just using the hot folder camera right now just to uh, capture images but in this situation you would be using a tethered camera okay and at that point I would then give these this to um, that client in this situation we're gonna use this to retrieve images at a sales station but you can also use it just to share images on an event gallery but we're gonna pretend <coughs> that QR code now goes with them and go on to the next group of people and you can see that it's creating a new catalog and let's capture a couple images here and then I can add this to that group of people and send them on their way. So, um, uh, before we move on, I'm gonna just pretend that the first group of people now has additional person they wanna take pictures with and they just want it added to this group. So they can now come back. This is a, the first QR code that we scanned. Oops, we wanna make sure dark room selected. 
and now it's switched back over to those so we'll just copy over this image and you can now see that it's added to this sub catalog and we'll switch back over to the photo library so we can see this a little bit better so we have this catalog it's created this would be a group of people or individual um, or a class and then we have this group so there are a few different ways that we can look at this if you are just capturing images and you want to share those images on event gallery you can have it auto print to event gallery if you are capturing images and later want to sell those images uh, either at the same workstation or a different workstation you can then use this to pull up that uh, catalog now I'm not sure which one I have in my hand now but if I scan it you can see it pulls up those images at that point they can then select their image choose their print and print out their images so this would work very well in a network environment with darkroom core work as client and darkroom pro work as a server these uh this qr code and i'll get into in a future video how to create some of these codes and make them unique all within darkroom core um but these are coded um with the idea of using them as an amusement park and having multiple photographers um, so you can see that it's coded with an ew for my name i'm the photographer and then as sales go through let's say they um they print a print and there's a dollar amount attached to that now when i go to my orders tab under my completed orders and let's just uh, look for this week you can see that it's flagged with EW so I know all of these were from that specific photographer I could then run a report and then give them commissions on the sales so that was one thing that was built into this another thing that's happening behind the scenes is it's uploading to event gallery with a proof watermark on it so um, if I oops, click on the link I can then see the images and scroll through my images and decide which one I'm gonna want to purchase whenever I get to the photo station so this is just a quick dive into what's now possible with a QR code scanner attached to Darkroom Core. We'll have future videos explaining how to create the, those codes in different ways that you might be able to use it. Let's say in a school environment, a event environment like a wedding, or if you're capturing uh, children's sports, just a, a few different ways that you can try to stay as organized as possible and serve your customers as quickly and easily as possible and hopefully generate a few more sales. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.